Ninja! Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Yes, cool. Yes. Is, is it going to be a brown? I don't know. Or a brook? It looks like it's coming pretty good here. What's going on everybody? Back with Brendan, chasing the trout. Big Red's hauling us into the back country. Well, it's not really that far. The lake's right there and the truck's right here. But Have you ever caught a trout through the ice, Brendan? No, not yet. Hopefully today. Hopefully yeah. today's the day. Never caught a stock trout through the ice either. So we're going today and uh, we've got a few things we're going to try out. Yeah. What are we trying today, buddy? Uh, I've got a little bit of corn, got some trout dough. Yeah. See, see what works the best See way. what the secret is. Stay tuned. We're gonna do a quick check of the uh, Angler's Edge map slash active captain, which isn't as good as Angler's Edge, but <laughs> do a quick uh, quick check here and see what uh, what it's looking like in this little bay. Cuts like a knife, buddy. Shout out to the fishing hole for selling me those new blades. Finding fish without live scope. Just drill and drill and drill. <laughs> find the nice ledge, find a nice flat, try them both, see which one works. So Brennan saw a little trick on, uh, what was it, a forum or a video that you were watching? That we're yeah, gonna was, try uh, here? Both for uh, forums and videos. Forums and right. videos. We've been having some trouble trying to catch a trout, you know, so I mean, why not look up the uh, tricks of the trade, right? and uh use something that you probably have your mom has in the kitchen you don't need to go to the store and buy it no fishing store i should say anyway and buy it yeah we're gonna be rocking uh, a little bit of that yeah you see it that's corn i didn't have any corn so stay tuned and uh i will show you how i tie this up all right just finished tying up i don't know how good you can see that but basically just a homemade pickerel rig or a double drop shot I believe that's a number one size hook. And a little further up, about a foot, we got that guy. So, literally just gonna be hanging that in the jaw jacker with some corn. And how many pieces of corn did you say we should be rocking on a hook here, bro? Two to three. Two to three pieces, eh? Look at that. Like, oh, I wanna go catch some trout, but I don't have any bait. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Your mom might not have dinner later, though. <laughs> You're like, but Cole, you're not carp fishing. You are correct. <laughs> what was the uh, reason behind that, Brendan? Apparently, um, when it's stock trail, when they're getting fed, lots of the pellets that they use are, are grain-based somehow, and uh, so the, the, the fish are used to eating um, something similar to the corn, so apparently just uh, triggers something from when they're in the, in, in the tank being... Uh, brought up being grown it up into adults yeah. <laughs> grown it up 
Exactly right. All right, buddy. Let's get the jacker going. Show me quickly how you rigged yours up there, buddy. With the weight, it's just about a foot above. Single hook on the bottom. And we're gonna put uh, three pieces of cord on here. Big Red getting the job done since 1983. <laughs> All right, we come back. Did you see that? That was a good one. Damn it. The GoPro died. I can't make this up. I come over to change the batteries. Buddy catches the first rainbow of the day here. I mean, it's, uh, look at that. 2.9 feet of water. Beautiful fish, bud. Yes, oh, right oh, on. hold up. My first rainbow ever. First rainbow ever. Look at that, beautiful colors. That's wicked, good fish, right man. Right on, all right, let's send them back. Ooh. And nice leave stuff. goodbye. Good stuff. Where are we at there? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right on, dude. Good stuff, Woo. yeah, man, right on. Well, I would consider that a uh, achievement of what we came here for. Yeah. Targeted some trout, got one. Yeah, targeting some trout and we got one. I mean, you'll see the jaw jacker went off. I ran, missed it. And we've been marking fish all, all shallow. It's crazy. Yeah. Stay tuned. Hopefully we get some more on camera here. Make sure the GoPro doesn't die. Using a little tungsten jig here with a little plastic. A little plastic and uh, some trout dough on it. So Tipping it with the trout from dough. there. And the phone call. <laughs> oh, he's on! He's on! He's on! He's on another! Oh, oh perch. perch! Okay, well that's a different kind of uh, well, fish. Well, wasn't expecting that. <laughs> <laughs> the elusive white shell micro perch. Micro is right. Look at these little baby. <laughs> eh? Just spinning. Hey, came for the rainbows, but we'll take the perch. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. A little too small for the pan. <laughs> yeah, he's on, he's on, he's on. Good one, good one. Yeah, yeah buddy, yeah, buddy. Yes, cool. Yes, is, is it gonna be a brown? I don't know. Or a brook? It looks like it's coming pretty good here. Oh, oh, it's on the bottom one. Okay. Just gotta be careful with that top hook then. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, whoa. Oh, I don't like those head shakes. He's trying hard. It's a good one, Cole. Woohoo, <laughs> buddy. I can't see it yet, but I just know it is. Oh, bro. Okay. It's okay. big. It's big, okay, bro. Okay. It's not a rainbow. Oh, okay, hold up, hold it's, up. It's a trout. Yeah. It's a brookie. It's a brookie. Oh, it's a brookie. Let me get in there. Can you grab it? It's out. Yes! Oh my god! Dude, that's a master for oh, sure, bro. brother! Yes! Bro, we pull more over here. Okay. That's probably what we taking off the whole time. That's sick, Cole. Oh my god. Nice. Dude, I knew it was a big one. Barbless popped right out. Oh. Look at that beautiful fish. That is why we're here, baby. Backwoods, Manitoba. <laughs> what have we got here? Master angler. 20 and a half. 20 yeah. and three quarter. 
canister. All right, sorry, GoPro died there. We got the release on video. Okay. Oh, lively! <laughs> nice, good stuff. Sorry, right GoPro on, died, but we got the release. <laughs> we on got dude. it. We got it. Yeah. Right on, dude. Yeah. Man, what a rush. We yeah. came here. We never caught in trout through the ice before. Yeah, first time. Brendan got his first rainbow today. So we were a little unsure of uh, exactly what kind of trout that was. Pulled up the Master Angler app here, and it was not a brook trout. It was a brown trout. So easy to determine with the fish identifier. If you're ever in need of identifying a fish or wondering how the uh, rules and regulations work here in Manitoba, highly recommend downloading this app. I don't know if I said where we are actually, but uh, just here on the edge of the white shell, right on the edge of the uh, province. What lake are we on, buddy? Lions Lake. Lions Lake. Yeah. This is the first lake I ever caught a rainbow on, just casting from shore in summertime. And uh, Brendan's like, you know what? Let's, uh, let's go try it out. Never been here in winter. So this is my first time ever on the ice here. And we literally just used Angler's Edge as well as active captain which is not as good but still yeah we just wanted to find a nice little flat kind of rides the shore here and this rock peak is nice it drops right off i believe that hole is like seven feet 15 feet 18 feet i'm fishing right in the middle suspended with that rig i showed you guys earlier oh i just heard bells too oh, did you oh i can't believe that just happened we're literally just walking over there i'm like do you hear bells Thought I was like just making it up in my head. He goes, I hear bells too. <laughs> what do we got? <laughs> Actually, I'll let you deal with the hook yeah, first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me get that out of you here. Hey. That wouldn't be a terrible eater. No, it wouldn't you want? No, I'm good. But yeah? yeah, yeah, yeah. If you want, I'm just saying. If you wanted to try a trout, I might. You know. Let's... In this small too. So we were, we we kept this one as an eater here. Brendan's never had a trout before. He wanted to try her out. It's you know. Not yeah. huge, perfect eater size. Yeah. Right on. You know? So, okay. Yeah. We've been chumming the water as we've been fishing here. Um, gonna... Some corn came out of it. His belly seems really full. So, we're going to see what's going on. <laughs> see in what's here. going on in here. Got to clean this guy up anyway. So. Yeah. Basically, just come from the poop shoot up. Here, I'm going to flip him. Yeah. There we go. Work with it. There we go. There we there go. You go. So what's he been eating? Oh, some corn! <laughs> <laughs> when you want to make sure the bait you're using is actually working. Yes. We put that in today there, so. Yeah. And so. Uh, yeah, he's got a little water. Look at the water bugs. <laughs> hey, you want to know if yeah. they eat water beetles? There's your uh, evidence. Yeah, right there. And that's how you clean a trout, basically. Just rip all these guts out of them. Yeah, so basically that's uh, that's A, hilarious, and B, how you clean a trout. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, boom, there. Rinse it off. Good to go, man. Perfect. Throw a little garlic and butter in there. Oh, and chop yeah. the head right off when you're ready to go. And I mean, people leave them on. Oh, yeah. You just want to rip this stuff blood. Up. That's the stuff you want to just make sure you get out. So she doesn't taste too fishy. Yeah. Look at that. Beauty. And that is ready to hit the grill with a little butter and some garlic and... Awesome. Right on. Boom. Thank you. No the problem, is working, 100%. Yeah. No doubt about that. Just in case anybody's curious about the setup on Big Red, I'm just... That's just a digger auger mount which is awesome i put that on my snowmobile i put that on this thing i put that on a quad whatever i made a couple of rod holders for it so i can run and gun when i'm uh you know it's a beautiful day like today and uh, i do have a box for it but i was in the white shell this weekend for my brother's bachelor party and uh it took a beating and the mount got a little screwed up so i figured we'll leave that one at home today and rock the double toboggan which worked out perfectly so I got this chair when I bought a duck boat last year and uh, just zip tied a piece of wood so she don't fall through and Brennan's not uh, sitting on metal. Better than nothing. Big Red never lets me down.
putting the GoPro away and the homemade jaw jacker went off. Greg's not sat tight. Oh. Oh, oh. Wait. It's coming up backwards. Yeah. It's coming up backwards. I don't know if I should grab it. Uh, let me let him down and okay. back up. Yeah. Nice. nice. That's my nicest one of the day. That's a beauty, buddy. Right on. Right on. Right on. <laughs> right on. Dude, I was just about to pull it out of the water. Look at the colors on that rainbow. Nice. Beautiful fish, bud. Oh man, that's, oh, that's gorgeous. Woo! Wow, that is a beautiful fish. That is a beautiful fish. Now well, you got two for dinner. If you want to keep it. I mean, <laughs> first successful day of trout fishing. First okay. successful day of trout that's fishing fun. for sure, yeah. Last time we went trout fishing, we ended up catching largemouth bass, so. Yeah, so this is, uh, it's nice to actually catch the target species. Yes, it was, buddy. Well, that's uh, that's pretty much a wrap for today. We're probably gonna finish the day off maybe with a little bit of drone footage, but uh, yeah, basically came out here to try a new uh, new way to fish for trout with the uh, corn and uh, compared it to the trout dough. And I'd say corn won, but they definitely they definitely attacked both. So yeah. it was a, definitely a great day of learning for both of us. Oh yeah, had no idea. And uh, anyway, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thanks again.